Right now, the United States is in the middle of a severe blood shortage. The Red Cross distributing 12% more blood to hospitals every day compared to last year. CBS 46's Karen Greer shows us how the sweeping shortage is affecting everyday people. Peter Beverly needs a new liver. He suffers from non-alcoholic liver disease. Functioning at a very low level. Fortunately, his son David's a match, so the liver transplant was scheduled for the end of June. The day before the surgery, we get a call and they said, uh, hey, uh, you know, we're going to need to postpone this. Um, there's a nationwide blood shortage. As pandemic restrictions lift, elective surgeries are resuming. Car accidents, traumas, and drug overdoses are increasing, and so is the demand for blood. They're having to make adjustments accordingly. Hospitals have to have blood for the anticipated surgeries, but they also have to make sure they have enough on their shelves for emergencies. The American Red Cross says more than 1,000 additional donations are needed daily above the usual target to keep up with demand. We are mostly in need of donors who have blood type O because it is universal, and we are also in need of platelet donors. We really need donors to roll up their sleeves and donate and donate again. David's wife is expecting their third child in September, so the family is grateful. The transplant was scheduled for last week, but despite being extremely cautious and fully vaccinated, Peter tested positive for COVID. The surgery postponed again. My hope is that I can get through this, get myself better so I can enjoy my family. Our hope is that, you know, we can find a good time, but also that, you know, we can help dad out because my boys absolutely love him. So this family can get back to doing what they love together. Karen Greer, CBS 46 News.